science experiments going on in each laboratory. Well, the ISS is very, very uh, large. It's about the size of a soccer field, a uh, football field. So if you uh, if you know uh, what that size is, and then the solar arrays would take up about most of the seating uh, that's on the side of the football field. So about the size of a football stadium, uh, the, the footprint. And so it's uh, very large, and you're able to see it with the naked eye if it passes over when the sun is shining on it. Okay, this time, this is my second trip to space. That's a very good question. I was in space for only 15 days back in 2007 when I flew with uh, Italy's uh, astronaut Paolo Nespoli. You may have heard of Paolo. And uh, we carried the Note 2 payload that was built in Torino at the Alenia. And, um, and this time I launched on June 15th. And so I've been in space a little over two weeks now. That's a very, very good question as well. Right now I'm a flight engineer and I'm training to, uh, to do two spacewalks in August. One on August 5th and one on August 17th when I get a chance to go outside and repair some things on the outside of the space station. And then in September, I'll be taking over as the commander of the space station. So right now I'm in training, trying to learn the systems and trying to operate the systems in all the laboratories. Very good question. Over. Yes, it's lots of fun to be without gravity. Um, if you can imagine just floating around, um, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. You can do a lot of uh, tricks. You can feel, you feel like you're flying. Uh, but there is some, uh, th some uh, things you have to watch out for because you're floating, but everything else floats too. So your food floats. Uh, all of your documents that you're trying to read are, are floating around. Your tools float around and so I uh, used to remember uh, um, use a lot of Velcro and paint but make sure everything doesn't go floating away. So it's a lot of fun to be without gravity. Over. Well, we we'll usually get up in the morning and just like you do at home uh, before you go to school or before you go to work, we have a chance to uh, just to brush your teeth and to wash your face and, uh, and uh, get some breakfast, get something to eat, and get ready to start on your day. And uh, so that's what we do when we work day. It's very much like working an eight-hour day or being in school for uh, six or seven or eight hours uh, through the day. Uh, we have a lot of work to do, and we have a timeline uh, that we have to keep to. And then we have we usually break for lunch, and then at dinner uh, we usually there are six people up here now, three Russians and three Americans, and so we usually try to get together at dinner time uh, to discuss the day's events. Over. The dream of being an astronaut was really too big of a dream for me. And so I never really believed in myself that I could. Uh, and then, uh, as time went along, 